Yo, bro. Yo, bro. I'm dead about to put y'all on. Like, I'm dead about to put y'all on. I'm about to make a whole series. Forget the intro. Forget all of that. We're getting right into it right now because I got dumb energy right now. Let me tell y'all what just happened to me for one. So I went to two clubs, audition, got in. I know y'all like, but ain't you done with dancing? Mind your business. Money needs to be made. But yeah, your girl got in. I'ma still keep my job. I'ma still do YouTube content creating, wig promoting, all that. Speaking of wigs, you already know I'm about to link it. I'm about to link it for you. It's gonna be right here, right here. But yeah, so let's get into it. So this basically just gonna be an advice video. Then I'm gonna do like pros and cons. Then I'm gonna do story times. Like I'm really gonna like put y'all on. So let's hop into it. For the girls that's below 21. All right, under 21, right? I'm gonna just tell y'all this. It's better to wait when you're 21 because 18 plus clubs, like, you know, you can't drink up in there. I don't know what weird men, but you're nasty, wanna see 18 year olds. Like, at least, even when you're freshly 18, 19, like, y'all are still young. Like, you're not even legal to drink. You're not even legal to buy gars, none of that in the stores. So, I made some money at 18, but I was like, mmm. This wasn't really for me. Felt like I was forcing myself. When I really, really went back, I'm gonna say it was last year. Everybody knows I had moved to Cali. Then I came back, didn't know what I wanted to do in my life. I didn't know what I wanted to do, y'all. Like, y'all don't understand. So, like, my friend, well, at the time, my friend was dancing and she's like, You feel me? Like, come with me. Like, you know? So I went with her to this ghetto club, y'all. Like, first of all, I'm not racist, but it was a white club. Sometimes you'll get a lot of attention when you're a black girl because they're used to seeing, you know, all the snow bunnies. So when a black queen come in, they're like, Damn. you don't even got to have no ass. None of that. You got a pretty face. I'm telling you right now, you're in there like swimwear, like dead ass. So when I first started, you know, you need your ID. You need, uh, I think you just need your ID and use some clubs make you audition now if you just a bad bitch bro and you just go up in there sometimes they'll just be like oh you want to start tonight oh you're hired you have to have tough skin going in that club and you need to be bro you cannot be insecure because the girls and the customers are dead gonna look at you like yeah like mm -hmm. and you're gonna get less money if you go up in there and you just know how to shake ass you don't even gotta go on no pole if you know how to shake ass you know do a couple tricks or you just know how to talk and get that money you're good bro like you're straight do not show them people you nervous or scared if you need to take a shot or two or you gotta you know do you a little one two with that then do that bro anything that's gonna make you comfortable so you can get up on there and you the spotlight when you're up there i'm telling you and they playing a good ass song like you're not gonna think about nobody but the money up in there bro um playing nice to the uglies you got a sweet talk i remember like one time i couldn't even fake the ugly. i don't care how much money he had like breath was stank he was talking all my neck like i couldn't do it i'm not even gonna lie i couldn't get the money you gotta be fake okay you gotta get the money you gotta get out get the bag and get out um they love the new girls even if you danced before and you go to another club bro don't say nothing like you don't have to tell nobody nothing you're new every club you go to you're new you're in there for the money and that's it and you leave i've seen girls do extra work and stuff if you're gonna leave with a customer do not leave right with him you wait till that man leave give him a good 10 20 minutes and y'all meet somewhere else i know that's dangerous but if you're trying to do that and you're trying to do extra work or go dance privately for them if the club manager sees you leave with that person you're fired or you're gonna pay a fine if you don't pay the fine just don't come back like you're not gonna be able to come back to that club boy i remember this girl had to pay one it was like 250 bro and i was like damn you just like made all of that and now you gotta give it back to her that's crazy but i've had like the dude he was just like you gonna like come on me i'm like yeah yeah he gave me the money first where he fucked up at done done never seen that man ever again in my life i'm telling you never seen him again it's very easy to finesse men i'm not trying to be funny y'all are very easy some of y'all some of y'all smart i ain't gonna lie we have had broke dudes not even broke dudes people come in the club not spending money what are you here for to see free ass when i see people not like throwing in bands whatever i'm not shaking nothing but let me get back on topic to where i started well not i'm gonna count this as started started because i was like of age whatever i came back halloween night 2022 started dancing in november my dance name was asian you know the eyes i thought i was gonna have to audition so my heart and my chest like i'm pounding it's pounding so we get there i give them my id i'm like oh shit i'm about to i'm about to audition they just told me i was hired on the spot i made a good bag my first night i made a good bag um the club does not have to be popping the biggest thing y'all need to do is get your clientele up forget just having a good night every day get them clientele up because you can make a good 
ban on just one person in like five minutes. Get to know these people, act like you care, act like you really give a fuck about them, act like you really feeling them to get what you want, baby, and then get out. So I'm still gonna keep my job. I'm just gonna be doing both. It's gonna be a little hard, I'm not gonna lie. But it's pros and cons to this. You gotta be confident. You gotta know that you that girl and you gotta get that bag and get out. If you don't wanna do that, kudos to you. Please do not think the money is gonna be good every single night you go. You can make 50, 800, you can make 2K, you can make zero, which I never made. You're gonna have good and bad nights. I remember one night I only made like two, three hundred dollars, called up one of my clientele's, where you at? I had a bad day, come to the club so I can dance for you. Put that money right there on the spot, I'm telling you, bro. But if you're a nine to five girly, keep your nine to five, babe. Like if you can do it, like do it. You don't wanna have days where you're like, okay, I just made bank this week and then the next week it's like oh my god like where's the rest of my rent money you don't want to do that so like i said keep these clientele keep your job even if you're doing like full time go part time and then go dance on the weekends there's times i'm not even gonna lie i've danced for like one day out the week and i didn't have to come back to like a month later because i made some good money like i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh my god i made all the money in the world but i was taken care of and with cash every thousand i made that's when i went to the bank i would save 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 because it's very easy to save with cash let me tell y'all some stuff that you're gonna need mm. clothes of course so you're gonna need this if i can get it and y'all probably like, what the fuck is that? It's a dancing bag. We don't do little bags over here. You need your filled. And y'all probably like, what's in there? I'm gonna tell you. So what you keep in here, your money, of course, your lip gloss, your phone, extra underwear. I got me some like mace. I got me this. I don't know where I got it. It's a comb. Don't play with me. And then I have a taser phone. It looks like an Android, but you come up to me, you getting zzz, just now. But yeah, you're gonna need this bag. They come in different colors. Y'all know I love pink, of course. I just keep little things in there. Shit that you can't really, like, if you don't feel like holding your phone, because I don't know who has pockets when they're dancing. But this, this comes in handy. I would recommend you starting off with, like, two to three outfits. I have one money-making outfit. Like, always makes me so much money. It shows my curves. I always wear that on a good night. Like, when you go to your club, you're gonna know your bad days and your good days of who's gonna come and who's not. These are my favorite pair of shoes. Y'all can see they kind of rent like run down you feel me they're my favorite pair the unicorns they get me money too you feel me this is my go-to my go-to shoe right here then i got these when i want to feel when i want to feel extra you feel me when i want to get out a little with your butt and then your ankles moving because then my shoes going like that i have another pair downstairs they're leather that's good for pole like gripping i'm not the best pole dancer but i could you feel me? i could do a couple tricks i like to be in the vip room in the champagne room i love giving floor dances oh there we go floor dances if you're dancing by yourself in a section and they're throwing money at you and a girl come up to you, you better have the balls to tell that bitch, move back, because we're not sharing. A lot of girls love to do that and be like, well, you owe me this much. No, I don't. This is my money. Take your ass back. I've gotten arguments with bitches about that. Um, Black clubs. That's where the competition is. You know, white clubs when it's a bunch of like white girls and then you black or like you're Hispanic or, you know, you're some type of different race. You're going to stand out because they're used to just seeing snow bunnies, like I said. At the black clubs, it's just a bunch of beautiful bitches. And then you got the big booty bitches. Then you got the BBL bitches. Then the dent BBL bitches. Then you got the 40-year-old bitches, the 30-year-old bitches. Then you got the, you know, the... 20 year old bitches you feel me up in there there are a lot of competition and me in my opinion very much meaner girls when i would dance to black clubs i just did not talk to nobody i kept it as a high and vibe because bitches would give me mean mugs for no reason didn't even know these hoes i ain't gonna lie but yeah like white clubs i ain't gonna lie i would recommend when they start playing that country music i'd be on that shit like i remember when i danced to lady gaga i made hella bank when you dancing like you just get the vibe you feel me like if you can shake that ass you're good you don't need no pole sometimes like people who don't even know how to do the pole they just hold the pole you know start shaking doing their little tricks you know you feel me the meganese oh fake names the only people that know your name is the people like you know your manager shit like that i always gave a fake name nobody will ever know my real name i always had the persona of oh i just moved out here from new york i'm only here for like three months or you could be like oh i'm a single mother like i'm struggling i'm in school or when you come up in there, you'd be like, uh, I just got out of a horrible relationship and I'm just trying to get away from him. People be making up scenarios like that. Like, I'm telling you. I've had some, like, club friends, like, that are so cool. People who have taught me the pole. People who have told me, like, you know, what to do, how to talk to people. You know, shit like that. 
honestly dancing is not for everybody i feel like if you really want to dance at least try it but don't make it for you if it's not for you because that's gonna fuck up your mental like at the time i was making it for me because i thought like this is what i had to do because i hated working a nine to five but i hated having good nights and bad nights like i need all my rent money together so that's why i'm just gonna work my ass off and do all of this shit and give y'all this damn content because you fuck with me and i fuck with y'all like fuck with y'all for real dancing is how you make it if you smart if you're street smart you're good you know what's going on you know people are weird always 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 thank you jesus i, I remember this always make sure when you go into your car at night you got a bouncer walking because some bouncers would just stand there and look at you no you need to walk me to my car because something happened to me i ain't gonna lie um there was one club right when i went there they was not checking nobody somebody could have brought in a gun and <laughs> somebody could have brought in a and you know, pop, 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 you feel me? If they wanted to. Like, it was like that. I've seen girls who were doing, you know, things that I would not recommend anybody to do. And I'm not talking like sexually. I'm talking about, yeah. But dancing is what you make it. If you want to do it, girl, do it. If you need advice, you at the right place. Because I'm going to give you that advice. And I'm going to be blunt too. I'm a very blunt person. So don't come here if you're thinking like, oh, is this going to be just so nice? You know, I'm going to tell you the honest, hard truth. You're going to get your money and you're going to get out. We're not there to be dancing all our life. And it is, I'm not going to lie, it's fun to dance in your early 20s. You feel me? Because you're in your prime. Like you're getting your money. You're taking your trips. Like you're a rich girly. Waking up knowing that you can spend how much you want and then you still got money in your bank account is a great feeling. Like, it's a great great feeling i don't know i was just trying on my dance clothes i'm looking at the body i got now and i'm just like i started calling like five clubs i was calling clubs i'm asking are y'all hiring they tell you the days that you need to come in you come in you do an application you audition you don't some clubs want you to start today tomorrow whenever you want to day shift is cool when you have clientele we used to have people come in from break just coming to see some ass people on their lunch break to come see some ass night shift is cool both shifts are cool for me i'm not gonna lie like i'm not gonna lie there's times if you leave early because they be wanting you to work a certain amount of hours at the club, you're going to have to pay um, a good little fine. It depends, though, how, like, if you leave, like, a good... I don't know, because I don't want to say that because prices are different, like, different states. If y'all have any more questions or y'all want, like, more, like, video ideas, tell me everything in the comments. Like, we're going to get into this. I was running away from this for a very, very long time. But it's like, it's hard out here, bro. Like, sometimes you got to, you really got to do what you got to do. Like, you don't have to dance. I support everybody and what they do. Get the money, just don't get in trouble, and don't get hurt.